What's going on you guys? It's your boy Chopper. Welcome back to another video. Now boys, before I do go ahead and go into today's video, I will be letting you guys know that I have a nice little giveaway for you all. Now boys, for today's giveaway, I will be letting you guys know that I do have a $400 giveaway to three lucky winners. Now boys, for today's giveaway, I will be going on ahead and giving away a sponsor ticket with three $30 scrolls to one lucky winner. Now, boys, also, boys, for today's second one, you guys will be receiving a support ticket, and you guys will be getting three $30 scrolls. And also, boys, for VIP, you guys will be receiving a VIP ticket, and also, you guys will be receiving $60 in scrolls. Now, boys, today, if you guys want to be entered into today's giveaway, make sure you guys go ahead and do the four simple steps to me, which is like the video, subscribe to my channel, turn on you guys' post notifications, and make sure you guys go ahead and join my Discord, because that is where I will be picking all of my giveaway winners. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Your boy Chopper is out. Peace. Eee! What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Chopper. Welcome back to another video. Now, boys, for today's video, we'll be going on ahead and we are actually playing Runezilla. Now, boys, if you guys do not know about Runezilla, Runezilla was literally out two years ago and the owner has recently came back out with runezilla once again now boys runezilla has been around for a very very long time and actually the owner actually hit me up and wanted me to go ahead and show you guys the server and basically what they've been working on for the past two years to make runezilla the new runezilla of today now boys the first thing i do want to go ahead and show you guys is i actually went ahead and made a whole brand new account just show you guys some of the game modes they actually have. Now they do have casual mode, which is like a basic, a normal mode. We guys have normal XP. They have a normal mode, which actually gives you guys different type of uh, perks, as in you get normal drop rates. Now they do have a hardcore, well, hardened mode, where you guys get increased drop rate. And they have an Iron Man mode, where you guys get no trading, as basically Iron Man is. And they have an ultimate Iron Man, where there's no trading or banking. So, I'm not going to lie, the ultimate Iron Man was, I haven't seen that in so long, considering how old this server is. So, basically, boys, they have a heart of well, an ultimate um, Iron Man that you guys can play, and you guys cannot bank. So, this actually might be something really challenging for a lot of you guys that's actually wanting to play something like that. Now, boys, now that we're actually back on the main account, I do want to go ahead and show you guys some of their unique interfaces. Now, why am I saying this is unique? I've never seen interfaces like this. These are actually really nice interfaces that I've never seen before. Now, boys, for the first one that I do want to go ahead and show you guys is basically the achievement interface. This interface is insane. I've never seen it. Now, boys, with these, these are actually the achievements. Well, these are actually all the achievements that you guys have to complete if you guys are playing on to maxing or comping your account, basically. So, boys, I want you guys to know with every single achievement that you guys do, you do get a point, which actually adds up right here. Now, with some of these achievements, you do have to PK. Like, you have to PK to get some of the achievements because some of these are just PK requirements. Now, basically, with this one, you have to kill two, well, 25 players with the next to kill 50 players. Now, they do have... Well, they do go into tiers, so tier 1, tier 2, and tier 3. Now, with tier 3, you have to kill 250 players, and the list goes on and on. And basically, whatever, however hard the tier the tier is, you basically how many points you get. So, if you kill 300 players, you get 2 uh, achievement points. Now, with the uh, tier 3, you guys get 3 uh, achievement points as well. Now, boys, you have to kill 900 players. Boys, these fucking things are insane. I have never, ever in my life seen a fucking interface like this. Now, boys, they do have their very, very own custom titles. Now, if you guys want to get to this little interface, all you guys will do is go into your quest tab and literally just left-click the view title, and you guys can see all these different types of titles that you guys can pick. Some of these titles are free of charge, as well as you guys can see here, but you guys can actually make your own custom titles as well if you guys choose to. Now, boys, I do want to go ahead and show you guys some of the shops that they actually have on Ruzella. Now, basically, the donator shop is looks insanely cool because it has a little fashion scape guy. And there's basically two shops that you guys can pick from. Now, from the first shop, you guys do have your PK gear, your, your donator scrolls, your donator, your, well, your donator tickets. And then, basically, boys, you guys have your common things as in blowpipes, uh, toxic staff for the devs. Basically, your PK gear slash PVM gear. Now, I'm not gonna lie, one thing that's actually unique about that is actually this is an old ass source, and they recently have added a lot of the new things that actually been added to old school into this source. Now, but with this, this is actually the donator store number two. Now, this is actually your cosmetic slash your rich people items. You guys can buy twisted balls, you guys can buy full basically 
basically full third age sleds black party hats you guys have your ring of wolf eye you guys have your ring of destruction as well you guys have your party sets you guys have so fucking much you guys can choose from with the donation store now boys another little cool thing about the ring of distraction is basically when you guys it, you guys can become a dfs you guys can become a, 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 I think it's like a party hat. You can become an AGS, which actually is really fucking cool as well. All you guys have to do is just keep taking it off and putting it on. And you guys just morph into like these different type of fucking like, like items inside of the game, which actually is really, really cool to be honest. All right, boys. So another little thing that they actually have on here is actually voting. Now with voting, you guys do have a chance of getting a ring of wealth, your full void. And your full elite void, you do have your dragon defenders. You guys do have your Enku sets as well. Will probably be a lot. You guys have your skin zone pass. I'm pretty sure this gives you guys different type of skins where you guys use it. And basically, you guys can teleport there. And you guys basically, oh, this is a skilling zone. So basically, this little skilling teleport basically teleports you guys to the skilling area where it makes you guys easier for you guys to skill. And I'm not gonna lie, the skilling area looks fucking in. Insane. I have never seen this before ever in my life Yo, this skilling area is so fucking cool Now boys with these these are actually called the bounty shop or the bounty tiers now when you guys are PK You guys do equip well you guys do have a chance of actually getting mysterious emblems Now how these work is once you guys get a, t a tier of any level you guys can come trade them in You guys can get different type of armors and set inside of these now you guys do have a chance to get the, the book of darkness You guys can get your, your dark bow paints you guys can get your green dark bow paints your uh, Your yellow dark bow paints. I haven't seen a yellow dark bow in a very very long time as well You guys get your white dark bow paints. You guys get the dark infinity the also the light infinity and these are actually the bounty teleport So basically you guys can go into the wizard You guys can literally teleport straight into your bounty and kill him instantly because he wouldn't even uh, Expect you guys to be coming into him so quick like that now boys with this one you guys do have your bone now basically this is like the PvP reward shop We guys go ahead and get PK points and basically stuff like that now with these you guys can buy Every single PK and gear if you're untradeable that you guys might need like a cult whips uh, Berserker ring furies you basically have your void set so if you guys are not trying to vote you guys can come here and basically get void your dragon defenders and basically you know your your typical barrels items now, boys, for all of you guys that love PvP, they do have a high-risk zone where you guys can basically go ahead and click it. And basically, it's a quick teleport. Now, boys, once you guys come in, you are automatically sculled. So, make sure you guys be safe with this. Now, once you guys step out, people can fucking attack you and kill you. So, make sure you guys be safe when you guys are going to that portal. But this is actually really cool in how they have the risk area. Now, boys, I do want to go ahead and show you guys. They're basically their custom teleports or well, the custom teleport interface. Now, with these, you do have your basically everything is sorted out the way you guys see it. You guys have your dungeoneering teleports, which is Edgeville done, Brim Haven done. And you guys have your monster teleports. You guys have your boss teleports, as in General Gardor, Bando, Sarah, Zemri, uh, Kriara, uh, Dagonoth, Barrel Chest, King Black Dragon, Kraken, Corporal Beast. Lizard Sermon, Cerberus, and also Giant Mole, Demonic Gorillas, and Sarah. Uh, they have Tectonic, and they also have the Wilderness Bosses as Callisto, Verianas, Verian, Crazy Archaeologist, uh, Chaos Fan Fanatic, Chaos Elemental, and then you guys do have your Wilderness Teleports and Maze Bank and everything else like that. But I'm not gonna lie, I actually like this teleport interface as well. It's really just self explanatory, and they even added their basically, well, the basic danger zones as well. So instead of you guys go ahead and type in the command, you guys literally just come to this little wizard that's standing right here at the home area. And basically you guys can just scroll down and basically go to any zone that you guys would like to go ahead and go. But I don't have the I don't have the donator ring, but you guys can literally use this teleport to go anywhere inside of the game. Now boys, I do have about a hundred and two mystery boxes I do want to go ahead and open up for you, a couple of you guys, show you guys what you guys can get out of these mystery boxes. So let's go ahead and get into this loot. Let's go ahead and see what you can actually get from today's mystery boxes.
All right, boys, so I'm basically going to be going on ahead and ending today's video off here. And I hope you guys all enjoyed today's server. Now, boys, if you guys to go ahead and try out the servers, all their links will be down in the description down below. If you guys like to go ahead and try it out. Now, boys, they do have their Discord inside the link down below. So if you guys like to go ahead and talk to the owners about anything that you guys might possibly want to see inside of the server, all of those links will be down in the description down below. But I hope you guys all enjoyed today's server tour. Your boy Chopper is out. Peace. Eek!